the work we do, it is a labor, but it's a labor of love, you know, yeah. and it's due to that love and commitment to the community and the, and the life legacies of uh, two great men, starting with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who really everything he built was just opening the door for his son to establish an Islamic community uh, in a peculiar situation that we found ourselves being former slaves. But uh, to come into it on our own. I remember Imam Muhammad said, if someone builds a house, you can't really get around in it if you don't have some instruction from that person. Or you can, you can get around in it, but you can only get around in it the way that he, he designed it for you to get around in it. And that's how faith is. And that's how religion is. That the, the book is the same. God is the word of God. But how do you get find your way to God? if you didn't build the path that leads you to God. So we were blessed with a leader that was protected from, by God really, due to slavery. We, 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 were sep he was, we were separated as a people from all of the thousands, tens of thousands, even millions of years of tradition. And we were made a new people all over again. And God blessed us with a leader that went into scripture and discovered God on his own. We even have stories and videos of him talking about how he prayed to God uh, as a child, being the son of a, a great leader that had something that was further from Islam than any other, ma other major faith, faiths. And he turned to God and asked, asked God, if I'm not seeing you correctly, please um, you know, show me something. I, I'm, I'm not using the exact words he used. Uh, I guess give me a sign, as we say. And uh, the sign was that from that day on, he, his heart changed. I think he said he was a youngster, about four, a teen, young teenager, maybe 13 or 14, and he was praying. So he was raised by two deeply spiritual people believing in, in God, his mother and father, and he was in the house of also his leader. So he, he was blessed. Uh, we were blessed with a leader who was a new, with a, a man with a new mind, a new spirit, a new life, and was built upon faith and belief in God and with the desire to get to know who he was or to know himself, who he was in relationship to God and what God wanted for a human being. And so uh, we were saved. We, we truly were saved. So Savior's Day is not an accident that we call our day Savior's Day because in the family of the human tree, no people were more separated from the life that God created the human being for. And we were separated from all of the prophets from Abraham to Muhammad. You know, we were just, we were snatched out of that chain. Uh, and it was God that brought us back and blessed us to have that.